guys, Shannon here with Got to Go Prepared. Thanks for watching. Uh, gonna go over a little idea on a first aid kit I had uh, real quick, and hope y'all like this. Uh, picked up this little pouch. It was a back to school pouch, and it was camouflaged, and it had a small compass on it that I thought was kind of neat. So this is gonna be kind of a tabletop review, more of what's in here and my hands digging through it than. Uh, than anything but I wanted y'all to see kind of some ideas of what I did with it and uh, like I said it's just a small pencil pouch school pouch from Walmart first thing I did was I took some paracord bracelet and some key rings and hooked it through these loops so if I had it down in a pack I could see the red and just yank it out and then I took some paracord on these zippers so it would open easily. Now you can put anything you want to in one of these, but I thought it was neat, this little cheap compass, if you get it just level, you get a kind of a good direction, but I, I recommend having a backup. <laughs> so in this first little pocket here, what I stuck in here is I got some, a small Kim light. I have some mask dust masks I have a small old pill bottle and it's full of charcoal tablets those are good if you ingested something trying to eat wild edibles and it was uh, making you sick these would help um, a small uh, hand sanitizer Some more Q-tips package. Some cheap and expensive tweezers. And I've got a whole array. Some of this stuff came out of an old first aid kit that I didn't like the bag it was in. Um, antibiotic, aspirin, antibiotic cream, aspirin, Tylenol type stuff, alcohol wipes, Lots of bandages, um, some more antiseptic wipes, and antibody cream. Uh, I won't dig everything out of here. Some of it's redundant. Some uh, BZK towelettes. Some alcohol prep pads. I may have to get this out so I can dig in here and get the rest of it out. Um, small thing of matches that I waterproofed by dipping in wax. Um, they just dipped in wax to waterproof them. A small uh, gel super glue for closing wounds. Some medical tape. This little kit here is um, if you lose a filling or something. A lot of people don't put dental stuff in their first aid kits, and uh, that's very important, especially the older you are. If you have some fillings, you might be trying to eat some nuts or something like that, and you get a filling pop loose, so you can get back this stuff right here. If you rinse and clean that out, and you can use this to pack it back in there and fill it in until you can get to a dentist. Uh, it would be very important having dental stuff in your kit. Uh, small magnesium striker for another way to make fire. Some safety pins, a tongue depressor, which can also be used if you didn't have a stick for a small break or something like that to keep a finger straight if you've broke a finger. Uh, but that is all what's in in that side of the kit. Now there's two sides. Let's go to the other side. Now in the other side, and I will go back and mention the dental thing again. Like I said, a lot of people, I don't see people put dental stuff in your kits. Uh, right down to Ambisol or something for numbing, filling, uh, small mirrors, things like that. You can and you can do some stuff to make sure you can take care of your teeth if you hurt yourself. Because there ain't nothing worse than, I mean, the dental pain is painful. Okay, and this other side is more trauma stuff. Um, I have an Israeli bandage. I have a large... Ace bandage. I have a instant cool pack. These are great, and I've mentioned it before in another video. 
that if you're getting overheated really bad in the summer, these are great to have cool you down if you're not near a cold stream or something. Um, I have a, this is a Husky. I believe I got it at Lowe's or Home Depot back during the holidays when they had multi-packs of them. Uh, great utility knife, extra blades for it. For small task cutting, if you, if you kept it super clean, you could use it for a medical thing to, to make cuts if you needed to do that and you know what you're doing. Um, uh, another small button compass. This is a little better than the ones on the outside. Like I said, I always have a backup. One is none, two is one, especially on things that are vital like that. Uh, a small gauze roll and some gauze pads, lots of gauze pads in here. I have um, a little, another gauze pad, a little bit larger than the other one. Some bandages. Uh, examination glove. That's more if you're working on somebody else. I have a small little silicone thing to keep moisture out of here as well too. And then I have a, a larger trauma pad in here as well. So most of the stuff in, in this side of the kit is, is trauma related, um, except for maybe the bandages, small stuff. You can use those for blisters and things like that. This is just some ideas. Uh, if you're like me, I've got several first aid kits that uh, cover a variety of different things. This is another, just some ideas of how you can use a pencil case like this to make a first aid or, first aid or trauma kit, just an extra one or a backup one to have in with your hunting stuff, your uh, backpacking stuff, hiking stuff, or just an extra one to have for different reasons. Because you gotta go prepared, because you just never know. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Y'all have a great day.